I understand that we have uh, Nate Diaz is on the phone, uh, so if we need him, uh, we can ask him some questions. We'll turn it over to uh, Deputy Attorney General Bateman uh, for her recommendations in this issue and keeping it at parity with the decision we made for Mr. McGregor. And this matter came about uh, originally on December 15th of 2016 when this commission approved an adjudication agreement to resolve Mr. Diaz's disciplinary matter for his conduct during the August 17th press conference to promote his UFC 202 contest against Conor McGregor. Uh, pursuant to that agreement, the terms of the disciplinary sanction included a fine of $50,000 as well as 50 hours of community service. I just note that the, um, the only changes to the amended proposed adjudication agreement from his original agreement were to reduce the fine from $50,000 to $15,000 and to reduce the community service requirement from 50 hours to 15 hours. As Mr. Diaz is on the line, I do have confirmation, at least from his attorney last night, that Mr. Diaz was in agreement with the terms of the proposed amended agreement. If the commission um, believed it was appropriate and we could get Mr. Diaz's confirmation over the phone, um, we could uh, agree to that, give the discretion to the chairman to review that final signed agreement. This is uh, Sam Wad, counsel for uh, Nate Diaz. Um, I think he may be muted. I know he's in Hawaii at 6 a.m. his time. Um, Nate has already paid the fine, this is a note, and he is fine with the agreement, and he will be signing it shortly. Great, we have a motion, we have a second, all in favor? Great, motion passes unanimously.